sometimes not all but some people when they go for a jam session it's a show-off session you know people come with this idea that oh I've been practicing all this stuff I'm gonna show off that I'm better than the other guitarist and it's like to me it's a really negative approach to the jam because you know it's like someone going to a party and then like okay I memorize all these facts and trivia I'm gonna impress people and show them I'm smart that's stupid dude it's like really really lame you know what I think uh, a jam session or like a kind of a this kind of uh, this kind of gig, you know, you get to play your musical ideas, you get to listen to their musical ideas, and you're supposed to have a conversation. You're supposed to talk to each other musically, and then by listening to what would he say, what would I say, what do we want to say together, and you get to create a musical moment that only exists because you're jamming at that point in time with each other and it's not a show-off session it's not like I'm gonna play all my fast legs faster than you you know it's not a cutting session some people sometimes I see people go for like really big sessions where you're jamming with a professional musician and the amateur musician or the I want to say the local musician wants to show off wants to go there like, I'm gonna show that I'm better than that famous musician and it's like lame dude there's a reason that the musician is more successful that it's because they work hard for it, they've had a long career, and they, they've done the work to get where they are, whatever the work is, and it's a lot of work. And so for you to be able to share the stage with someone at that caliber, it's, an, it's a great honor, it's a great opportunity, and that's how I treat it. I want to treat it with a lot of respect that I get to jam with Bumblefoot. Um, and I get to learn from seeing what he does on stage and how he plays on stage, you know. There's a lot of things to be learned. And this kind of session that John's organizing, John Lau's organizing, I'm eternally grateful that he's organizing things like this where we can have a musical exchange. It's not just going to watch Bumblefoot. It's like some of us, five of us, get to jam with him on stage and we get to learn and grow from the experience. You know, maybe he'll get something from watching me. Maybe he'll get something from watching Jamie Wilson. Maybe we all will get something from each other. And that's the thing. It's an exchange. This is the thing. This is the great part of it. It's not a show-off session, so you can definitely learn. So that's why I love a bunch of amps at its best, you know. That's kind of my philosophy on it. Hashtag rant off. <laughs> okay.